hello everyone welcome you all today i will show you an interesting topic which is more often used and most widely asked in interview questions so how can we perform certain actions using a javascript so we may have this option in selenium but uh, there is certain cases where we need to rely on this javascript so for example for clicking any web element we need to use this javascript or to scroll certain page uh, we need to use this javascript executor and we do have some other methods where we can uh, retrieve the URL title and we can navigate to different uh, website and we can create some alerts and navigating to any pages so all this we can achieve using JavaScript very executor so today I will show you how can we achieve with a simple code so in case if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and let's get started so I will open my Maven project here so under that maven project I will create a package and a class so my package will be javascript methods and here method method javascript and I need a main method here so I will click main method so every time we used to launch any web browser or any chrome driver ie driver any driver so we need to give system set properties and from now we are not using that system set properties because i have configured such a way that i don't need system set properties to declare in my code it will directly launch my web driver so in case if you wanted to do that uh, option in your uh, automation code do watch my video on how can we launch any website without using system set properties I will share that link in the description section you can do watch from there and now I will directly create web driver instance web driver driver equal to new chrome driver and after declaring driver instance I need a URL to launch so I will copy a sample website right so this is my sample website this is selenium hq so after launching this website i need to click on certain page or certain uh, element entire in this page so where i can click on this page uh, i'll click on this download button for selenium web driver so let's copy this export so i will create a web element here web element element equal to driver dot find element by dot xpath so under xpath I will copy this xpath and this selector hub provides you very handy and very uh, easy to get all the locators so you can uh, use this tool too in case if you are if you don't want to use this tool or if you don't have an access to this tool please do watch my video on how can you find different locators using an HTML DOM so we can uh, know without relying on any tool you can download or you can uh, find the locators so now so we have declared element and we have a driver instance and so to use a JavaScript executor we need to typecast from driver to JavaScript executor so for that I will take JavaScript executor and JS as a reference equal to now I will typecast from here so typecast to go to child from web driver to JavaScript driver now we are reference of JavaScript so now web driver now given control to JavaScript now JavaScript can perform action js dot execute not async execute execute script so under execute script we need to write one simple line called ars arguments dot click arguments dot click method and under arguments you need to provide an index of zero so this index will make JS to click on the element
here I will pass element now it will save now we'll run this program so let's directly run it has launched website it has clicked on downloads now see now our code works with javascript here so we have not used any web driver uh, click event or web driver select event so we have used the javascript here so this is to perform click event on web elements now I wanted to scroll so perform scroll action so now I wanted to perform scroll action Now I wanted to perform scroll action. To perform scroll action, we already have a JavaScript executor reference. Now using the same JavaScript executor, so I will say execute now here. So we don't need the script and arguments here. So I will remove the script and arguments from here. So I will say window. So this is the control of window, and I will say controlling after window. I will say scroll, scroll by and scroll by we need to provide the coordinates so I will say coordinate and x and y values here so I will give some random thousand value here let's perform the scroll action so now let's quickly save and run so it has launched the browser it has performed scroll you can see it has scrolled till certain position so in case if you wanted to scroll more you can provide you can increase this count I will increase this count to 5000 so let's again save let's use some let me close this instances let's save again and again run so to perform scroll action so this is the method we need to use in JavaScript JavaScript windows dot scroll by and we need to provide the coordinates x and y so it has scrolled till bottom now now i wanted to retrieve the domain or uh, url and title so i wanted to retrieve all this information using the javascript executor so for that i will say string domain string domain equal to js dot execute so now I will execute I don't need the script and also the arguments so I will write something called return so this statement will get my domain and with semicolon and dot to string so we need to provide to string after getting the domain I will convert that to string and print it over in my console system dot out dot print and I will say my web page domain is so I will say to append the domain here and similarly I will capture Similarly, I will capture title and URL. So here I will provide URL and in place of domain, put the URL in capital. So this statement will retrieve my URL. And I will put it here and my web page URL is and again I wanted to capture the title so to capture the title title we need to provide title here and similarly we need to you convert to string my web page title so all these three methods will try to get the domain and after that URL and title so let's again run my program
now you can see here it has retrieved the domain so this is my domain and this is my URL and this is the title of my page downloads so here we have performed click action right on the element called downloads now then after after getting all this information I wanted to navigate to a different page using a JavaScript so how can we do that so JavaScript execute JavaScript executor again and here I will provide a same command but it's like a window window and I need to provide a location location to navigate location equal to so here let's say https and I will say to go to Google so I will navigate from my Selenium HQ to Google so I wanted to perform this action after retrieving all this information scrolling and clicking on a web element so let's quickly save and run again Now you can see it has navigated to Google from Selenium HQ so using a JavaScript executor. It's so simple, right? And now after navigating to any web page, so I will uh, provide a alert page for Chrome. So you are using JavaScript ex JavaScript, we can create an alerts too. So in JavaScript dot execute. So I will create an alert. Alert and my alert message should be welcome to Google so this is my alert should be popping out once I navigate to a different URL so I don't need arguments I will remove the arguments and welcome let's now save this is the final run so I don't I will not run again now so this is the one last method I wanted to show you so let's again run one final time now you can see it has created an alert says welcome to Google right this is so simple right when compared to the web driver commands so this is how we can achieve different operations using a JavaScript using javascript we can perform click action in javascript you can do scroll action you can retrieve the domain name you can retrieve the url and you can retrieve the titles you can navigate to different page you can create an alert in different page so i will create more methods in upcoming tutorials i hope this session is useful for you in case if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel there are many videos in pipeline so do stay tuned to my channel Thank you for watching.